They're off. Way to go, ladies. Have a good one. Later on, we're going to have kids bouncing castles uh, installed as the money goes on. And I have it on good authority that the uh, skies, the government by the Delta Police Department, they do such a fine job. Gentlemen, nice. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Bring them by. Completing the first. Delta Cable Vision, we have the uh, we have the big screen, we have the remote, and we have a Canadian rider on the uh, offensive here, right? We have the big screen, we have the remote, and we have a Canadian rider on the uh, offensive here right now. That's rider number six. Six to go. Looking good, nice to see you. You have six to go. Podium finishers the last two nights in North Delta and Ladner. At all, but uh, I feel he's been given an unfair shake. I, w I will say that when his teammates who benefited uh, uh, from his uh, success pretty much got off scot-free. But I, I guess as I look at that, there, you know, there were those uh, attention, go to the left, go to the right. Here we come. Riders uh, splitting on, uh, on both sides of the, uh, of the island. Here comes the coverage. Here comes the lead car. Mark Ernsting is, uh, is there. D director of race. Times like this should last forever. Yes, it is. Rider number 51. But Team Canada. Oh, what better combination on a Sunday morning? Senator Bye. Senator Burr. It's just fantastic. As Mayor Lois Jackson has said, our community of Delta has truly embraced this event and taken it to its heart. I want to thank the contribution of $5,000. The federal government has also provided a significant amount of money to this event, and the province of British Columbia thanks them gra uh, graciously. Thank you for bringing Triple O to go with you. Got a breakaway in on the front, Brian. Uh, one rider at this time, just uh, to the finish. Who's it gonna be? It looks to me like that Shelly Olds, followed by Leah Kirchman and Tipco. I wouldn't say no one, but you've been smiling all along, Shelly. Third in North Delta the first night, second last night. <laughs> 
in Ladner. Uh, you're trending in the right direction. For sure, it's uh, progress, just getting back to racing criteriums again, so it's a different thing. Um, but I'm very happy with today. That was the goal for the weekend, so I'm very happy with the win. <laughs> nice congratulatory kiss there. <laughs> so I got a few people very happy here. Oh, I mean, a relatively straightforward race for you today. Didn't have to make too, too many moves. We, my money was on you there for the sprint finish after last night. I mean, I think you won five premiums and it was a close second last night. And tonight it was, or today, excuse me, it was just one effort, one big effort at the end. Exactly. I think the other nights I was doing a little too much if I wanted to win the race. So today I, I wanted to win the race. So I tried not to do anything. But, you know, it's a, I was racing with a mixed team today. So it's not my normal professional team. But garage racing was amazing. And it was really fun racing with them. So I want to thank them for having me in the team. Excellent. So great help there today from Garage Racing. You were racing with the distinctive uh, bright fluorescent colors last few nights of LA Cipollini. Today, Garage Racing, and you had a team behind you uh, delivering to the line first. Yeah, cycling is, all, is a team sport, and we showed that today, so thank you. Shelly, before you go, uh, we, were, we were sort of speculating that we thought that uh, maybe with three to go that somebody was going to dominate, that somebody was going to put a charge on and try and dominate. Was there any conversation like that going on in the pack? Was there any back and forth? Should we know? Should we know? Let's go. No. Uh, yeah, I, I think um, there was some attacking from the bigger teams, but uh, with the crashes and the, the rain and everything, I think it sort of slowed down the race because we didn't want to take any risks in the corners. And there had already been a couple little, of serious crashes. Yeah, there were crashes. some big crashes, so I think people were more safe. Tenuous? <laughs> a little tenuous, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks. Well, I'm here with runner-up. She won last night, knocked down a second today. It was still a fantastic sprint, Leah. Great job. <laughs> uh, thank you. And... Uh, yeah, my team did a great job of uh, setting up a lead out there at the end, and I know it's I wanted to the, wanted the win, but uh, the second is still a great placing. It certainly is. The wet roads play a part at it at the end. A little cautious in the sprint. Um, absolutely, it was pretty slick out there. Um, there was multiple crashes during the race, and I think one of my teammates went down in the last few corners. Um, so you just had to be really careful out there. And that played a part just in the sprint finish at the end. Um, a little bit. Luckily, it's a pretty straightforward kind of the road curves a little bit on the way in, but no tight turns. So that was definitely nice. Now, uh, a day off now and then uh, UBC and Gastown before heading off to Europe. Uh, un unfortunately, I'm actually heading to Europe tomorrow, but I'm, I'm really sad to miss those races and I'll be back for sure next year and in the future. Oh, it'll be great to have you. We'll miss you, but uh, best of luck uh, in uh, in two weeks in France with uh, your race on the Champs Elysees on the last day. Great, thanks so much. I'm definitely ready after this week of racing. And please welcome, if you will, with a smile upon her face, number 63, Laurette Hansen. Loretta Hansen. Presenting the young rider's jersey and the flowers. Avec les fleurs. The Peter Silke. Peter Zickley. Peter Zickley. She puts on the jersey and receives the flowers from Peter Zickley. Nicely done. Uh, avec les fleurs de Peter Zickley. Merci. All right, we're going to present third place. Would you please welcome from Tipco SUB Tipco Sub? Please welcome Joanne Kizanowski. Joanne Kizanowski, de l'équipe Tipco Sub. Presenting the uh, flowers, Tour de Delta Board Director Jackie Lambert. Avec la présentation des fleurs par le Tour Directeur Jackie Lambert. Ladies and gentlemen, finishing second. À la deuxième place. Please welcome the second place finisher from Ve Canada. Veuillez accueillir du Canada team. Leah Kirchman. Leah Kirchman. <laughs> Presenting the flowers, Councillor Sylvia Bishop. Avec les présentations du conseiller Sylvia Bishop pour les fleurs. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasure to present our winner. 
Nous avons l'heureux et immense plaisir de vous présenter of the 15th annual White Spot Road Race. A White Spot Road Race. Please welcome from Garage Racing, Shelly Olds. À la première place, Shelly Olds. It's a pleasure to uh, present the flowers with Mayor Lois Jackson. Avec les plaisirs de présenter les fleurs de Jackson. And please welcome to present the perpetual trophy, the president and CEO of White Spot. Avec le trophée du, du White Spot président du CEO Warren. Warren Earhart. Earhart. Warren, thank you. Great picture, permanent trophy, the perpetual trophy from the folks at White Spot, and uh, truly a, a great moment for Shelly Olds. She has uh, dominated the women's field this year, uh, rode with a little bit of support today from uh, Garage Racing uh, because it's uh, a little tough to uh, do what she was trying to do uh, uh, with a team all by herself. So looking great here today. Ladies, if you will, please, one, two, and three.